Hey, how's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another brand new video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can improve your FPS, fix lags, stutter, input delay, and a lot more in Call of Duty Black Ops 6. I hope this guide helps you out, so make sure to stick around to the end of this video. And with all that said, let's get started with. Okay, once you're on your PC, head over to settings and then what you have to do is head down to gaming, head over to game bar and simply turn this thing off. Game bar enabled will lead to an overlay constantly running on the game which will consume your CPU resources which is not what you want. Simply disable that, head back to gaming and now head to game mode. What you have to do over here is simply enable this. I have tested this multiple times and game mode turned on. It was giving me better performance. Right down beneath that you'll find graphic settings, click on that. Once you're here, what you have to do is enable hardware accelerated GPU scheduling as well as optimizations for windowed games as both of these things will help you to optimize your input latency and render latency. After that go back to graphics and then click on the browse button right over here. Then you have to go to the download location of your game. If you're unaware of it right click on your game head over to manage and then click on browse local files. Once you're here simply copy this file path. Paste it right over here and then you have to scroll down and you'll find cod.exe. Click on add. If that is already added head over to options and then select high performance and then click on save once that is done simply close it next step is the compatibility settings and then for that you have to head over to the local files again and once you're here go down to code.exe right click on that properties compatibility and then you have to click on disable full screen optimizations click on change high dpi settings and then click on override high dpi scaling behavior click on ok click on apply well before moving ahead i would like to introduce you all to gvg mall a store which fulfills all your digital needs for games and gift cards in one place. GVG Mall has a wide variety of digital keys for games and in-game currency for multiple vendors which is legit, reliable and convenient. On the website you can find a lot of categories where you can get Steam and Origin as well as PC game gift cards and genuine Windows activation key. I however liked how convenient it is to get a genuine windows key since I do not like the activate windows watermark on my screen and to fix it I can literally get a windows key for a huge discount. Generally you can get windows 10 for 5378 but on this sale you can get it for 2175 and if you use my code fox25 you can get additional 25% off at just 1631. And you also have Windows 11 update for free. And it is perfect time to get rid of that Windows activation mark. There are multi-bit payment methods which are convenient and once you buy it, you will get an email within minutes and using that code, you can activate your Windows in no time. So go check out GVG Mall, links are in the description below. Next step is deanimating your windows and for that simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows and right over here click on custom. Only enable save taskbar thumbnail previews, show thumbnails instead of icons, show window contents while dragging and smooth edges of screen fonts. These four options will help you to optimize the basic minimal look of your windows while keeping every other thing disabled. These animations are consuming your CPU resources in the background and disabling that will help you to get at least 2% FPS improvement. After that, head over to the advanced tab and here is the next step. Setting up your virtual memory. Click on the change button over here and then deselect automatically manage page in file size. Then select your local disk C and for the initial size set this into 1361. For the maximum size, you have to open up your calculator. Now you have to multiply your RAM that is 32 GB for me with 1024. This will give you your memory in megabytes. Simply divide this value by 2 and the new value that you get should be pasted in the maximum size. This is the optimal way to set up your virtual memory as this memory is on your hard disk drive or your SSD which will be utilized when your RAM is completely utilized. Click on set, click on OK and that should be it. Next step is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point on your PC and once you're here, click on local disk C and then click on create. Name it chord so you can remember it. I highly recommend you guys to skip this step if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any data loss. Once that is done, simply click on close and close system properties. Next step is the Call of Duty Black Ops 6 Season 2 FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You guys can download it from there or you can also join my discord server for a detailed downloading tutorial. Over here you'll find in 6 simple folders. Let's start with the first one that is CPU priority in which I have left AMD CPU priority as well as Intel CPU priority. Once again if you have an AMD CPU you can double click in on the AMD CPU priority and if you have an Intel CPU you can double click in on the Intel CPU priority. Both of them will help you to optimize your CPU's performance by setting up the correct keyboard values. Second folder is the most important one over here which is the Call of Duty Black Ops 6 priority. I want you guys to leave your PC specs down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which priority you need to choose right over here. Simply apply that. Third one is the RAM optimization where 
I have 32 GB RAM, so I need to use this registry right over here. This will help you to unlock a little bit more of your RAM performance and help that to perform better. Once again, if that leads to any performance issues, you guys can always reset it back to default using this registry over here. Fourth folder is the unwanted services in which I have left these registry files right away. What you guys can do is simply double click to apply every single one of them. These services are not used by your PC. These are really unnecessary services and you want them to be disabled because they are running in the background of your PC, consuming your PC's resources. Once again, if you use any Bluetooth or printer devices, leave them and disable every single one of them right away. And if any day you want to reset them back, head over to the revert folder and then you can apply all of them back again. Fifth folder is the batch tweaks, which is important for your input and render latency. The first one is BCD tweaks. If I edit that in notepad, you guys can see it runs a few commands on your PC, which will help you to get rid of your input latency. To apply them, simply right click and run them as administrator. And this one will disable your PCD tweaks. This one will disable memory compression, which helps you to improve your CPU's performance. And third one is process mitigation, which again helps you to improve the boot time of your PC and disable unwanted services in the background. After that, go back. Last one is a programs folder in which I have left two simple files. The first one is clean temporary file. Simply right click and run this as administrator. This will politely ask you to clean all temporary files off of your PC and you can press any key and this will start deleting them. I highly recommend you guys to delete the temporary files every now and then to make sure that your PC is performing butter smooth. Next is MSI mode utility 3.0. Simply right click on this as administrator. Here, what you have to do is find your graphic card, click on the MSI button next to it. And for the interrupt priority, you wanna have to set this thing to high. Click on apply and close the MSI mode tool. And this will help you to optimize your graphic card to handle higher interrupts and improve its performance. Once all of that is done, simply close it. Next step is fixing all of your network issues, packet loss, ping issues and latency using no ping, which you guys can download for free from the link in the description below. Okay, once it opens up, what you have to do is simply look up for your game. This has 1000 games to choose from. Simply search for Call of Duty and then click on choose the server. This has both options of choosing automatic and manual servers. Click on manual and then find the nearest region to you. For me, it will be Middle East. And then you guys can see the server which gives you the lowest amount of ping. It will be chosen by the AI. You can also go by the country. So if I go with Indian servers, you guys can see that I have lowest amount of ping available right away. Simply click on optimize this game and it will one click optimize your game right away i personally use no ping for myself and i have seen better gameplay i personally use no ping for myself and i have seen drastic improvements using this so i would recommend you guys to use this download links to the free trial are in the description below now you guys can drop into the game for the best in game settings okay once you're in your game go over to the settings button and then click on graphics once you're here in the display settings you want to have to make sure that your display mode is set to full screen exclusive this will make sure that your pc uses all of the resources towards the game display monitor should be set to your native monitor and a display adopter should be set to your native graphic card for the refresh rate i would recommend you guys to go with the highest available and the resolution you guys can go down a little bit and as you guys can see as you go down the estimated vram usage falls down this will make your game look a little bit blocky but it will give you the maximum fps aspect ratio should be set to automatic and then once you're done with that you want to have to go down and find nvidia reflex low latency this will only be available for nvidia users so if you have it to keep it on plus boost Next is Eco Mode Preset, which I have set it to low consumption. Next is Eco Mode Preset, set this thing to efficiency. V-Sync off, V-Sync on menu should also be off. Custom frame rate limit, go with custom. And for the gameplay custom frame rate limit, you wanna have to set this thing to three FPS lesser than your monitor refresh rate. I have a 240 Hz monitor, so I have to set this thing to 237. If you have 144 Hz, you wanna have to set this thing to 141. If you have a 75 Hz refresh rate monitor, you wanna have to set it to 72. For 60 Hz, you wanna have to set this thing to 57. I hope you get the idea. For out of focus custom frame rate limit, you wanna have to set this thing to 20. Reduce menu render resolution, go with optimal. Pause game rendering should be set to off. And HDR, I have kept it to off. Apply these settings and then head over to quality. Over here, I have set it to custom presets where the render resolution, I have kept it to 67. You guys can go up to 70 and that should be fine as well. Dynamic resolution should be turned off. Upscaling and sharpening should also be set to off since it adds a lot of input latency. But if you guys have a super low end PC and you have a support of that, you guys can go with NVIDIA DLAA. 
For AMD users, you can use AMD FSR 3. And Intel users can go with, I would recommend you guys to go with off. AMD FSR 3 frame gen. This will literally give you free frames, but it will add up input latency as well. So it's up to you if you want to use that or not. VRAM scale target, I would recommend you guys to generally keep it to 80 and that should be fine. Variable rate shading should be turned off. Texture resolution, go with low. Texture filtering, anisotropic filtering, go with low. Depth of field off, detail quality, low. Particle resolution should be very low. Bullet impacts and persistent effects should be set to off. Shader quality, I have gone with medium because it adds up a little bit of details to the environment. But if you have a super low end PC, you can also go with low. On demand, texture streaming should be set to minimal because this will consume your internet a lot and will give you input latencies and high ping. Local texture streaming quality is set to low. Then for shadow and lighting, you're gonna have to copy the exact same things I've done here. Environment, copy the exact same things over here. But with water quality, you wanna go with wave wetness. Once all of that is done, you wanna have to press 3 on your keyboard to apply these settings. Over here, you'll find motion reduction preset and this is literally very helpful for gameplay because it reduces the shake and motions in the game. I personally like to turn this thing on but it's a very personal preference. FOV, go with 100. ADS field of view, affected. Weapon field of view, wide. And then for the camera, you can go with this. And once everything is done over here, what you have to do is head back to display and then click on restart shader preloading. This will help you to reset all of the shaders back and reduce all kind of shader cache, which will also help you to improve your gaming performance. Once you're done with that, it will refresh your new shaders according to your new settings. And that should be it. Now you guys can drop into the game with the best FPS possible. So that was it for this video, guys. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button since it really helps me a ton. We are really close to 250,000 subscribers and I believe in you guys. We'll see you all in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.